Claire Barnes, age 29. She's about to discover the kinds of horrors that lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. A flat tire delayed Claire's trip. Little does she suspect how this incident will change her life forever, as well as her perception of reality. Unexpected obstacle, a new delay for Claire. She might need to find some help if she wants to resume her journey as soon as possible. Fortunately, she notices a signal pointing to a nearby emergency phone. Let's wish her luck. Okay, <laughs> that, that's not boding well already. It's ouchy, don't touch. It's ouchy, don't touch. Well, let's get the car. I'm gonna keep looking. See, he looks normal in that picture. I can't go any further. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay. Error. Please use a keyframe. I don't know how to fix the keyframe, so sorry, YouTube. Oh. It so that this Discord said when I was streaming. But obviously I didn't fix that because it's not going purple. No. How did I fix that? Yeah. Uh, I'll take the. Can I not take the bolt cutters? I have a piece of rope. Okay, I have a piece of rope. Uh, oh, okay, automatic scarecrow. Alright, got ya. Oh, there's blood on that scarecrow, man. There's blood coming off that fucking scared throw, I don't like it. No, no. Hi. Which one is that? Then it has okay. Yeah, oh, that's sweet. Oh, it's good to ah. There we go. Click. Oh, I've gone purple. This is good. It fixes itself. Yay. Um. 
Hello? This is creepy. Turn off TV. Um, I don't like that. The light is still buzzing. I saw that. I didn't want to see that. Take you. Can we, can we fix you here? Take you. Let's be there. No. No. Okay. 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 Ah, that's what I need. Thank you. That's what I needed. No, oh, come on, lady. Come on, Claire. You. Okay, what am I? Am I doing something wrong? Obviously, there's something wrong, but she's lit up. Death. Ah. Because I'm stupid, I need a hammer. I'm so stupid. If I had a hammer, I'll be time in the morning. Come on, let's, 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 let's go back. Back to the car. It was ah! <laughs> I should have paid attention. Ah, oh, creepy motherfucker! Creepy motherfucker! Don't. Oh, gee. Don't like. There we go. Out we go. Come on. I don't know why we're up here. But we're up here. Is, did we... Did... Oh, we want to go and look at the body in the bathroom, don't we? Fuck. Oh, he's got a key. Is that a bait? Did he tr He tried to hit. Okay. That was a, that's a bait. Take the lamp with you. No. Okay. Why do we want the key? Ah, uh, no! Why did I want a key? Hmm. I am missing a vital step somewhere! <laughs> So I see for on my YouTube start page, love the thumbnail. I'm proud of that thumbnail. Oh, that's what the key was for. Okay, 
it's a bit loud, so bear with me. But that can I? Okay. Ah, oh, relief, sweet. Right. So we were driving down the highway, and we got a flat tire, and we suddenly came upon a turn over thing in the road, the pylon, and so we went in to this garden where we saw this, a bloodied up cash up car. So we went into the house, which is even more bloody, and we found a body in a bathroom that obviously had a bite on his arm that he tried to bandage, and now we're here. That's pretty much it. That's what you missed. And I'm going to take a drink. <sighs> so the first two games are like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I think the third one's maybe like half an hour, and it's only the fourth and the fifth, but like an hour and a half, an hour. Hence why I thought I'll do all four in one go. Right. Yeah, I'm loving the art style though. But I will say, I am very, very fucking proud of my thumbnail. I like that. I saw the TV and I had I knew I had the lurky emo and I thought, ooh, I could combine the two and have it look like Seifer's hiding in the telly. I'm actually really proud of that one. Right, so this is her car. Ha ha. Okay. Oh, fuck. Buy it. No, this kid was on the missing posters. There was missing posters on the fence. One was normal, one was the eyes were black to it, one was the face ripped off. This is the kid that was in that house. This kid. This kid right here. I'm guessing you're not gonna, gonna, no. Right, fine, I'll hang up. Ah! Probably wasn't my smartest move. Okay. Kids with a horse. Claire Barnes, age 29. With great effort, she finally managed to push aside the fallen powerball and resume her journey. Still terrified, she stopped at the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform them about the disturbing events she had witnessed. The police found nothing out of the ordinary on that stretch of road. No signs of any crash or the presence of any mysterious kid. The man living in the farm was found a bit drunk, but in good condition. Not a single word was written in any newspaper about the horrors Claire witnessed that night. She went on with her life, trying to convince herself that she wasn't crazy after all. That she probably just saw something not meant to be seen. Midnight scenes, the highway.
that was short but sweet. I like that. I love the art style. I really do. The art style's fucking intense. So, uh, thank you, player streamers and viewers. You can support my future games. We did. Well, yeah, I did. Yeah, we. I'll say we. It was a short one. It's the shortest of them all. So, we shall stop that game. Go to episode two. And hopefully, I did my setup properly so that I could just switch. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I did this really well. I'm so proud of myself today. Yay! Right. Midnight Scenes, the Goodbye Note Special Edition. This short game you're about to experience is the second in my series. Min okay, never mind. Welcome, players from all dimensions. In tonight's episode of Midnight Scenes, we follow Dr. Richard P. Griffin during the scariest journey of his life. For Dr. Griffin, things will never be the same again. Turn off the lights and relax. Midnight Scenes will begin after this quick word from our sponsor. <laughs> Support your indie devs! Fucking right you support your indie devs. Two person indie team, yeah. Midnight scenes. A short game by Octavio Navarro. Madison, my love, I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. If I had known that our goodbye at the airport was to be our last, I would have told you everything. I hope this note will reach you someday. That would mean my fears are unfounded. I'll be gone just a few days, Madison. A week at most, I promise. I just don't understand why this work meeting is so pressing. I mean, making you cross the country out of the blue with almost no notice. We were supposed to be visiting Dad at the lake this weekend. You know I wouldn't go if it wasn't important. That gas leak in the lab last night has put everyone on edge. You told me it was nothing. Should I be worried? No, no, it was only a small accident. Everything's under control. They just need me to do some paperwork. You know how these things are. I'll call you as soon as I get to Washington, okay? Smooches! Yeah, it does. C64. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Good evening, sir. May I see your ticket, please? Uh, yeah. Where did I put it? Richard, here! It fell from your pocket. My love, you've been distracted all day. Is there something worrying you? Everything's fine, my dear. I have to go, or I'll be late. I love you. May I see your ticket, please? Ticket! Here it is. Thank you, sir. Have a nice flight. Tonight's episode. The Goodbye Note. Very Twilight Zoney. This is definitely Twilight Zoney. It's my seat. 5A. I'm not sure that's prob. We should probably check my ticket. Seat 5A. It is my seat. Excuse me, sir. Let me help you put your suitcase in the overhead compartment. No thanks. I'll carry it with me. I'm sorry, sir. The regulations. It'll stay with me, thanks. Nope, oh, fair enough. Taking this plane was a mistake. I've trapped myself. 
fucking love these graphics. <laughs> this is straight out of Twilight Zone. Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering a thunderstorm and may experience some turbulence. Please, remain seated with your belts fastened. Your wine, sir. Can lightning with a plane explode, Mum? Yeah, just try to sleep there. Oh fuck, it's, 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 it's... No. Four past midnight. The Langleers! Ah, oh, that heart. What? No. That heart. Oh, leave me alone. What have you done to all these people? Ah, oh, I missed that. My head is spinning so fast right now. You might be wondering the real reason I got in this plane. You knew I was hiding something. Sigh. It all started last night in the lab. Friday, October the 19th. Sorry it's so late, honey. I had to review this long checklist before calling it a day, but I'm on my way now. No, I don't think I'll go to Coleman's party now. I don't even have a present for him. And you know, nobody will miss me anyway. Go to bed. I'll be home soon. Mm, what? Hello? Who's there? Who's that noise? Huh? What was that noise? I came from the control station. Hello? Huh? Linda, you scared me to death. I thought you were going to call this party with everyone else. Oh, Richard, thank God you're still here. Uh, we might have a problem. I think the clean room's been compromised. What? What? What happened? I was doing maintenance on the main console when I heard noises coming from the roof. Listen. Listen! Did you hear it? I think we've got a small animal trapped in the vents. But that's impossible. All area's sealed. Is it though? In it there. Damn it. Do you think it might be a rat? A bird? Anything from outside the sealed unit would be enough to contaminate the whole air system and ruin months of research. I better get to the clean room and make sure that the lesion is secure. Yeah, good idea. We should be able to unlock the clean room doors from this console, but Coleman is the only one who knows how this thing works. Let's take a look. We need to use the correct combination of keys to enable the console. I know Coleman keeps a list of codes somewhere. I'll wait here while you find it. There is a background noise that is intense. I want to turn it down, but there's a. Da -da 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 -da. It's like heartbeats almost. It is. I actually feel like I'm having my head pushed down at the back. It's f yeah. Anyway. Maybe that's just me. Hurry up. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my fucking best, Linda. Wait, where did... Please, we need those codes. Where... Okay, where did she say I was too busy yapping? Uh, I was too busy yapping. Coleman's desk. I'm sure everyone's having a great time at the party. I'm probably the only guy I know who'd rather spend the night working than attending any kind of social event. When was this game made? <laughs> Cause that is certainly not how shit goes now. <laughs> social event or stay at home? Uh, hmm, Pre-pandemic? Maybe? Post-pandemic? I'm staying home. Uh, fuck it. Uh, okay. 
Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. So, well, what is it? Anything else that you be looking at? Nah, nah. Alright, okay. Let's go. Hey, Linda. You got the codes? I'm right here. Please insert code. Which one is it? Seriously, which one is it? Up, down, and uh, up, down, and and. Okay. Wrong code. We should get Coleman's code list to get the right one. I've got the code list. I just don't know which one it is. Hi, Nax. Just dropping by to say hi. Hi, right back to you, sir. Two. Dun and uh, ah okay. Dun uh ah uh, uh, incorrect. Right. Yee 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 yee. Do uh, uh blah, blah. I'm brute forcing this a wee bit, aren't I? Shit, I forgot that immediately. How are you doing the day, Nags? Bollocks. Down, out, out, up. Down, out, out, up. Down, out, out, up. Ha! <sighs> really? Up, in, and then. Up, in, and then. Up, in, and then. Up. In and then <laughs> I sound like I'm not gonna say what I sound like. Sure. Up and and then uh -huh. Out, down, up, out, up, down. Up, down, out, up, down, out. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm glad that there's no ah bollocks. I'm glad that there's no Amount of wrong tries. Down up any any. Down up any any. It's gonna be the last fucking one, isn't it? <laughs> and up and then and up and then. Right. In, up and then. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah. Coleman, you're a cunt. Up, it, down, it, up, it, down, it, up, it, down, it, up. Okay, it is gonna be. <sighs> in, down, up, in, in, down, up, in, in, down, up. In. Fuck, fuck! Real impressive, Richard. No, that really wasn't impressive at all. That was, that was... <sighs> okay, the doors are open. I'm going in. That's the wrong direction, Richard. Yes, I know, Linda. I know. Listen, Linda. Oh, clean room, clean room, clean room, clean room. Let's grab a suit. I know it's restricted access, but if you need any help hunting rats, I'm sure I can fit into one of them suits. I don't think the regulation... Ah, oh, just kidding. You know I've got a phobia when it comes to breaking rules. I'll be watching from the control station. And to quit wasting my time. Wasting, wasting. Here we go. Mm, okay, here we go. As I've just said that, Richard. 
I've turned on the comm system, shout if you need anything. Elander, could you increase the temp a bit? It's freezing in here. On it. Nice. Are you alright, Linda? Calm the fuck down. Much better, thanks, Richard. Not. That's where we keep the Elysian. I'm not hearing those noises anymore. Whatever it was, it's probably gone now. You sure? Well, I'm not seeing anything that raises cause for concern. Better be safe than sorry. Wait, it won't go that further, so... A screw! A big one! I need a screwdriver. Okay, I think we can officially declare this a false alarm. Everything looks normal here. Linda, I'm done here. You can open the door. I think you should check the Elysian. Make sure it's intact. I really don't think that's necessary. I mean, everything's fine. Besides, I'd rather not open the secure compartment if it's not absolutely crucial. You know how much that thing creeps me out. Richard, I'd do it for you, but you're the only one with fingerprint access. We've both heard the noises. We don't want any surprises. Ugh, fine. The Elysian. The reason behind all the secrecy surrounding my job at the lab and my many sleepless nights. It was found in Antarctica a month ago and all our studies have been inconclusive so far. It wasn't made by human hands, but I fear it was created with humans in mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't belong on Earth, that's for sure. I knew, I, couldn't, I knew it couldn't hurt anyone if we kept it in the lab under strict control. But it's not safe anymore. Its creators finally found it and they want it back. Is everyone okay in there? No signs of contamination as far as I can see. So put away, Richard. Oh, shite. Linda, what's happening? Linda, can you hear me? Hey, it's on down the light! Ah! Bastard! Who the fuck are you? Where's Linda? What you done here? What do you want? You came for this thing, right? What is it? What are you gonna do with it? Temperature's dropping. I think once we freeze to death, the suit will keep me warm for a few minutes, but it won't hold off for long. I'm going to do something quick. I was terrified, blinded by fear. The creature tricked us into opening the secure compartment to get the Elysium. With Linda most likely dead, I felt the fate of all humankind weighing on my shoulders. So in the end, I did the only thing I could do, even if it was ultimately foolhardly pointless. I found the strength somewhere inside to escape the lab with the Elysian and run. Okay, it's a big screw. Okay, okay, that's not gonna work. It's a big screw! The emergency system locked the door. Shit. It's 
a screw, a big one. It's screwed to the wall, I can't open it. I've literally got no other options here. Okay, because the buzzing is buzzing my ears quite literally. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm actually confused. I've only got two things. Oh, for fuck's sake! The sensor controls the refrigeration system. I need to find a way to disable it for a freeze to death. It's actually the cables didn't do anything. I need to find a way to break a short circuit in the refrigeration system. No way, I would freeze to death. Okay, so we go back here go back here and we stick a screw here, stick a screw here. The screw should be conductive and as long as it's... There we go. Oh, phew. Ha. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Yeah. What's this? What's this? There's magic everywhere. I'm sorry, but I'm not really. So you're the one who was making a racket in here. You're not a rat after all. But why the hell were you thrown at events? I cannot steal any part of you. Okay, let's go. I feel like a TV dinner. Ah! take the suit off. I can barely move. But first, I need to find somewhere safe to put the Elysian. I'm not touching it with my bare hands. Grab suitcase. Ah, lead-coated suitcases. They're perfect for carrying dangerous materials safely, at least for a few hours. There we go. That was, that was easy. Here. Are those wonders glasses? I spent the night in a motel. I didn't dare risk going back home and exposing you to this nightmare. That's why I lied to you about the unexpected gas leak in the lab that would keep me busy all night. My superior in Washington told me to take a plane and bring the Elysian to our headquarters. He thought it would be safe there. But in the end, it was all for nothing. I was trapped inside this airplane. I had to find a way to avoid the Elysian falling at that creature's hands. Come on, you want Elysian? Come and get it! You'll have to kill me like you did Linda and all the passengers on this plane. Umbrella.
love to know where you're sticking that umbrella, mate. I'll take the fairy soundtrack too. Let's go. I need to leave this plane as soon as possible, but killing myself won't solve anything. Nah. Someone there? Hello? The radio! I can hear the radio! I need to get in there and call for help. Locked. Damn it. This presents a bit of a pickle. Ha! Just try anything at this point. Oh! Fuck! That worked! Ha ha! Can't reach it. See, I'm just like detect you. I knew I'd need that umbrella. Oh god, it's flying on its own. Creature must be controlling it somehow. Hello, is there anybody there? I need help. Hello? Damn. It's broken. We're in a tight spot. No, not ready to put it on yet. Fuck it, let's go. Okay, I've got a parachute. Let's do this. I can't leave without the Elysian. Ow. Ouchie. Uh oh. Um, I don't appear to have used the parachute. Ow. Here's what you wanted. Just come and get it. Come on, do you have to do what you have to do? I, can't, I don't care. I don't do this anymore. I guess this is how it ends. Ah. <laughs> Madison, my love. I don't know how to explain all this in just a few words. I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. I thought I would be safe by now. Linda? Oh my god, your face! Hello, Richard. Such a fool. It was you from the beginning. Please, I beg you, just tell me what that thing is. I need to know. Such a fascinating work of engineering, don't you think? It's been our eyes and ears here on Earth for more than a century now. Until you locked it in that stupid, sealed room, blocking its transmission. Now that it's working again, you'll have some really interesting neighbours very soon. No. Oh, here they come. No, please, Linda. Cheer up, Richard. Your new life starts now. Sorry, what? Are you okay? It's the third time I've asked you if you want honey on your cereal. Is there something wrong? I'm fine, don't. I can't make those noises without throwing up. In fact, I'm feeling great this morning. Quite energised and I dare say 
happy. I think today will be a great day. Midnight scenes, the goodbye knock. I'm not very good at doing voice work, I know that. But I'm, I'm, confidence is getting there. I like that acknowledgement. I like that acknowledgement, players, streamers, and viewers. I don't know why, but it, 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 it pleases me. <clears throat> right. Okay. That was episode two. Episode three is from the woods. Please, did I do this one? Did I get it right? Did I get it right? Please, 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 please. Yay! God, I did the setup. Nice. This game contains some scenes with flashing lights that may potentially trigger seizures. This game includes content not appropriate for all ages, including horror themes, blood and gore. It also contains scenes and dialogue related to adult themes like racism, homophobia, bullying, yada 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 yada. All the bad things, don't do it. And there's a crow. I like this. <laughs> Elijah, 18 years old. His life will change forever with the arrival of a new patient at Fernwood Creek Centre. Turn off the lights and enjoy this chilling tale. Welcome to another dimension. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. Hello, Dev. You're my wife now. Yeah, the stomach acid is still burning my throat just a little bit. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. The mother lion keeps her cubs in the den for their protection while she patrols the area. She'll confront any animal she deems a threat to her offspring, often fiercely and risking her own life if it comes to it. to the latest information from the police, a neighbour found the missing boy early in the morning. A decade of uncertainty and pain ends with Oliver back in his parents' arms. We are really pleased to have found the boy safe and sound. It gives us hope we'll find his sister Tina alive too. Kidnapped kids, brother Phil. Oliver and his oldest sister, Tina, were kidnapped and dragged into the woods at night while their parents were away. 
Their babysitter was also taken to the forest and brutally murdered. She probably tried to resist. What kind of reporter are you? She probably tried to resist. Of course she... <laughs> Both children have been missing for nearly 10 years. All we want now is to find Tina, so we can be a whole family again. According to medical sources, the boy is weak but in stable condition. A family spokesperson told the press that Oliver will be transferred to a psychiatric centre for young people after his recovery. We hope to make his transition back to the real world much easier this way, the spokesperson said. In other news... Tell me, Elijah, how are you doing? We are all devastated by what happened yesterday. It's horrible. <laughs> Fucking hell. I hope the police find the answers we are all looking for. But meanwhile, I'm very concerned about how all this may be affecting your patient's emotional states. <laughs> Tell me, have you been able to sleep? Are you having any difficulty controlling your anxiety? Why don't you cut to the chase and ask me what you really want to know? What do you mean? I mean Oliver, of course. You want to know if he had anything to do with what happened? What? That's not what I'm asking. I must admit, though, I am worried about him. I want to make sure he receives the care he needs, but he won't talk to me yet. You're the only one he communicates to, so I could use some help with that. But do you want to know? Why don't you tell me about your relationship with him? Well, there's not much to tell, really. You might remember he arrived during one of our sessions. At first, I didn't know anything about who he was or what he what happened to him. One week earlier. Seriously, my foot feels like it's been covered with razor blades. <clears throat> this art style is so fucking charming. And I am getting big Doctor Who vibes. The new boy is here. Another forgotten soul with the family too busy to care for him. Tell me, how does this new arrival make you feel? Why would I care? I don't like change. Ooh, both answers I would love to give. Uh, why would I care? I don't like change. Why would I care? You'll hate me, just like everyone else. No one hates you. There are plenty of nice people here. I know some of the kids here can be difficult. Is there something specific I should know? Nah, everything's just perfect and rosy. Excuse me. Yes? Sure, no problem. I'll be there right away. 
Come with me to Dr. Green's office. We're going to meet your new mate. I can't contain my excitement. Tom Crawford, 17 years old, his blonde hair shone like the sun, but everyone who touched it was condemned to eternal darkness. Same old inspirational quotes bullshit. You can tell I'm looking for achievements. <laughs> Not now, Al is waiting for me in Dr. Green's office. Peter told Martin, Every night my mother tucks me into bed and kisses me on the cheek. Weird thing is, she died last year. <laughs> Fucking hell. I can see the garden fountain from here. It's kind of inspiring. And then, Leo told John, this morning I found a picture on my phone of me in bed, but I live alone. That's not creepy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Tap dancing classes? Intriguing. I was hoping there'd be an achievement for that. Dr. Green, principal. Oh, here you are. Mr. and Mrs. Darnell, Oliver. This is Al Henderson. He'll supervise Oliver's therapy. Al is one of the best psychiatrists in the state. Oh, please sit down. It's a pleasure to meet you. And looks like Elijah, our little Stephen King, is also joining us. He's always carrying his notebook around writing short horror stories. My stay here inspires me. Oh, Elijah. I hope you don't mind me taking a picture of your son. It's a little tradition we have with newcomers. That's not fucking creepy. It symbolises the start of their recovery. Elijah, do you mind? I'm terrible at taking pictures. I'll do what I can, I guess. Say cheese! Uh. Love that noise! Say good that! Uh huh. I love that, that flash build up noise of old cameras. I fucking love that noise! Sorry. Perfect. We'll leave you a copy in your mailbox in a few days, Oliver. And now, are you ready to discover your new home? Elijah, sweetheart, why don't you give Oliver a tour around the premises while we finish the paperwork? Condescending. Thy name is you. Everything will be fine, my dear. In a few weeks you'll feel much better and finally come home. We love you, son. Shut up. It doesn't date us at all. It's a new thing we found, okay? Shh. New. I could tell that Oliver was kind of different right away. What do you mean? He didn't say a word. He just observed his surroundings very carefully. I also found him... fidgety. In any case, I took my tour guide duty very seriously and I praised the centre every chance I got. Hi! As you heard, my name's Elijah and I'm going to be one of your mates here. That's a weird choice of word. Come on, follow me.
Welcome to Fernwood Creek, mental health center for the youth, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, no worries. Enjoy your barbecue. As you can see, it's one of those old school boys only places. To be honest, it's not that bad. Just stay away from the bullies and you'll mostly be fine. I've been there a couple of months, courtesy of a panic disorder that's getting uglier every passing day. What about you? What are you up here for? Okay. Don't worry, you don't have to answer if you don't want. Come on, I'll show you whatever it is. Joe Mighty Fingers Gonzalez will retire in a month. This place will crumble to dust without him. Father Michael, the founder of this place, posing with his prisoners. They'll put your meal in here, after some scrutiny from the supervisors, of course. <laughs> this is Miss Murphy, our mascot. Fancy centres have meadows with horses. Here we have a stupid goose. Go back to your forest, Mowgli. Sigh. Yeah, run, you idiots. You'll get used to it. Better show them everything in the lobby before leaving. I was gonna, but I wanted to pick up the pebble. Better show them everything in the lobby. Right, okay. Logan eating a chocolate bar behind the bushes as usual. Hello, girl. Yeah, I was gonna. Come back here. Come on. Here you go. There you go. Goodbye. You'll find all the information about mandatory activities here. If you're like me, you'd rather stay in bed than attend them, but they won't let you. Shall we continue the tour? Then I showed Oliver around the garden. Everyone was giving him suspicious looks. At the time I didn't know his face was in the news. All this nonsense about Oliver and his connection to what's been going on. It's spread since minute one. The garden is my favourite place. I can sit here alone here and write for hours. We... Uh, Oliver? Where's he going? Leo Borders listeners to death this talk and the day came when he was the only person left on life for a life alive on earth. Oliver Ah, there you are. Yeah, um yeah, this is this is our giant oak. Do you like trees? How did you do that? You just touched it and the bugs went crazy. Like, don't tell me if you don't want to, but that was fucking weird, okay? Don't do it again. After our walk around the garden, I showed them the cafeteria and the workshop class, and then we ended up in the bedroom area. We had an unpleasant encounter there. Let me guess, Aiden and Theo? Who else? These are our bedrooms. Oh shit, here come those two. Hey look, it's Mary Shelley with her new girlfriend. You must be the new guy, right? 
the star of the moment. Welcome to the Hotel of Fools. We were fortunate though. Aiden just shook her hands politely and left. Hey, new guy. Try not to spend too much time with Princess Ellie here, or you'll end up getting AIDS. Ha <laughs> ha. Those assholes are Aiden and Theo. I wouldn't get too close if I were you. Especially Aiden. He was involved in a violent hate group and spent some time in jail for beating up an African-American couple. The girl lost an eye. His father is running for governor. He's the centre's biggest benefactor. It's campaign time, so we locked Aiden here to avoid any untimely embarrassment. The other guy, Theo, is an enigma, but he's fucking scary. When his poor mother tried to escape from her abusive marriage, she was stabbed to death. By Theo, according to police. They didn't find enough evidence against him to convict him. He was nine years old. Shall we continue the tour? I better show me the bathroom is, it's quite important. Okay. Here's the bathroom. Toilets, showers, you know, usual stuff. I always shower at night when no one's here. It's not allowed, but the caretakers turn a blind eye. Well, our tour ends here. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell me, which bedroom were you assigned? Room 9? Come on, I'll show you the way. Here it is. I'm in bedroom 3. If you need anything, just... Okay. Hell's that nice? I'm fine. Just leave, please. I don't want anyone to see you. <laughs> Who the hell's he talking to? This guy's got to be quite an inspiration. Okay, so what happened the next day? Like every Monday, it started with the distribution of our weekly tasks. I was assigned to Miss Murphy's care, which she hadn't found especially funny. Enjoy wiping the goosey's ass, dickhead. At least she's a girl, so we don't have to worry about you doing anything weird to her. Asshole. Anyway, it's time for Miss Murphy's walk. I should go get her. Downstairs. I just get this. Wait, they only open the main door for special occasions. Theo has a horror story of his own. He's the stuff nightmares are made of. I'm going to use this on you. Don't panic, okay? 
You're putting a leash on a duck, a goose, even. Well, let's go breathe some fresh air, little one. I am taking a walk with a goose. I never thought I'd do that. Here we are, your little slice of paradise. Do you fancy a dip in the fountain? Enjoy, bring out your inner swan. Fuck. Um. Oops. You're enough. Interesting. Okay, well, leave the bees, not the bees. Anything but the boobies. Showers, 4pm. Well, well, well. Michael's older sister drowned in the lake, but she was back home in time to have tea with the family. Looks like somebody's adding an extra to their meds. I would as well. Uh, chocolate art? Mm. Hazelnuts, my favourite. Ha! Ah, that was in the fifth one as well. Their hands intertwined, only one would be left standing. Ben liked to talk and talk until one night his cat ate his tongue. His house was silent forevermore. Please, go. Leave me alone. Hello? Are you praying? During my short walk with Miss Murphy, I found Oliver gawking at the garden's oak tree. Do you know why? Some idiots say they saw him making offerings to the tree, like a ritual thing. Others said he summoned all those damned ravens invading the garden. But I think he just enjoys the contact with nature. You've grown, front, you've grown fond of that tree, huh? It's very, very old. Tyrannosaurus probably used it as a butt scratcher. Fine, I'll leave you to it. Weirdo. It smells exotic. What? Grace again. Since I was already in a garden, I took the opportunity to have a nice chat with Grace. Grace? Ah, uh, she's a patient at the Watson Centre. There's a drain pipe in the wall that connects both gardens and we use it to talk from time to time. Boys not house, calling girls not house. Hey Grace, you hear me? Elijah, how's everything? Ah, not too bad. No one dumped my head in the toilet today. I'm glad to hear it. And I made a new friend. You mean the duck? Uh, so she's a goose. Thanks. And no, uh, it's a new patient. Uh, Oliver. 
He's so shy and out of his element. And I empathise with him. Is he handsome? Do you like him? Don't you start with that. Besides, he probably prefers... You know, the, the types on your side of the wall. Got it. Hey, I need to go now. I'm late for theatre workshop. Enjoy! Or was this route not here before? I know nothing about trees, but I doubt they grow this fast. Stupid ravens. The fuck? Are they watching me? Quoth the raven, nevermore. Miss Murphy, I hope you've enjoyed your little walk. Let's get your car ready. You need some fresh water and food. Water, check. Food, check. Goose, check. <laughs> And a puffed up sleeping pillow. Ah, okay, puff it up. There we go. Sleeping pillow puffed up. Check. There you go. You're the best, you know. We are all cool in your eyes. See you in a bit, miss. And so it was time for dinner. I sat down with Eric. Like I always do. Eric is your closest friend here, isn't he? Well, yeah, we get along well. That night, though, he seemed kind of weird and touchy. I don't think he likes Oliver at all. All patients, dinner is served. Enjoy your meal. What should I choose? See, bacon eggs, uh, spaghetti, bacon eggs, spaghetti, bacon eggs. Yum, 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 yum! Yum, 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 yum! <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, cool kids table versus nurse table. It's like being in high school all over. Sure, where else would you sit? Do you hear this? What should I hear? My nose. It won't stop whistling. My brother broke my septum when I was six and now it sounds like a flute when I have a dry nose. It's fucking annoying. I didn't know you had a brother. Why would you? You never ask me about my life outside the centre. I'm just someone you hang out with when you're on any options. Oh, that hurt. And now it turns out that you do have other options. Very dangerous ones, I must say. What are you talking about? The newbie. Don't you know who he is? He's the guy who got kidnapped with his sister near the lake when they were kids. Is he famous then? Oh no, just what we need. Paparazzi surrounding the place. The news said they found him in the forest two weeks ago. He'd been missing for ten years. Really? I had no idea. Poor Oliver. You need to be careful, Mel. 
that guy's a ticking time bomb. People with trauma like that end up being axe murderers, no exceptions. Oh, shut up. Look, speak of the devil. Hey, Oliver, you can sit here with us if you want. Are, are you crazy? An apple and a handful of walnuts. That's all you're going to eat? Here, take my eyes. I'll go get another plate. Come on, have this. You know what they say, happy tummy, happy mind. Don't be shy, I haven't touched it. The fuck? Okay, sorry, I'll leave you alone. I was just trying to be nice. The hell was that? Don't ask. Uh, just don't ask. Of course, the rumour that Oliver caused the blackout was on the tip of everyone's tongue that night. A little birdie told me you got scared when it happened. Maybe you believe those rumours after all? Are you kidding me? How could Oliver do something like that? Black, black magic? Ha. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. If I'm not mistaken, that was the night you had that bad anxiety attack in the bathroom, right? Yeah. That's why I don't like you to shower alone at night. Okay, Mom. Can't go another day without showering. I feel like I'm being personally called out sometimes in this game. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm watching you. Is it ethical to have a camera here? Is it even legal? And do you like what you see? Huh? No, I already brushed my teeth. <gasps> Oliver, you scared me. I see you like to shower at night too. It's way quieter, that's for sure. Wait! I'm, I'm sorry. You forgot your shampoo bottle. Oh, okay, as you wish. Fucking hell. Is that you, Oliver? What?
Hey, Kent, are you okay? Okay. Breathe. Calm down. Let's, let, we'll do this together, okay? You know the drill. Just take a deep breath, hold it for three seconds, then let it out. Come on. Let's do this. First, take a deep breath. Um, nope. Remember the exercise. You need to take a deep breath, hold it for three seconds, and breathe out. One more time. You can do it. Um, nope. How? Oh, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay. In through the nose. <gasps> Great, now hold it. <gasps> One, two, three. Um, Listen. nope. I did count to three. Um, nope. Okay, okay. Hang on. <gasps> Great, now hold it. <gasps> count to three. Um, nope. What am I supposed to do? Oh, fuck, click the brain. Right, get it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Breathe in. <gasps> Hold breath. Head to three. And I breathe out. I forgot to click the brain. Of course I did. See, you can breathe now. You're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened that night in the bathroom? What could have possibly scared you so much? He's not going to believe me. I saw something, I saw nothing. He's not going to believe me anyway. I saw something. I know it sounds crazy, but I saw something. There was someone else in the bathroom, and I don't think they were from the center. What do you mean, an intruder? <laughs> oh no. We keep having these power outages. This place is full of pieces. Even the security cameras aren't working properly. Too bad. They are a crime against our privacy, but. They made me feel kind of protected. Now more than ever. Like, don't worry about that. There are agents patrolling the center's perimeter while the investigation is ongoing. Anyway, I don't mean to interrupt. What happened the next morning? Oh, I started the day with the most exciting activity. Today's mail day. No one ever writes me, but I should take a look at my mailbox anyway. I can fucking see the trees. Look at those roots. Joe must be using a badass fertilizer. They only open for special occasions. Mail, what? Mailbox. Does not look good. The hell happened here? It's Oliver's mailbox looking a little banged up. What's all this? They put all of Oliver's mail in my mailbox? I don't want to snoop. But it was in my space, so. My dearest Oliver. I can't begin to express how happy I am that you're back home safe and sound. It's been rough here without you. Now I live with my aunt and uncle in Seattle as my cystic fibrosis hasn't killed me yet. I've missed you, man. Thomas. And here's the photo I took of Oliver on his first day. The hell is that shadow behind him? It looks like the thing I saw in the bathroom. Okay, don't freak out. It's probably just a glitch. Twenty dollars. Tempting. Ooh. Whoa, 
Oh, these are original 1982 Midnight Zombies cards. They must be worth a fortune. A letter from Michael's parents. I'm not going to snoop. I'll put all of her stuff in his mailbox. Hey you, be careful with those mailboxes. They're cursed. Let everyone else here. Look, don't listen to him. Logan's a little upset. With good reason. I was delivering some letters into the newbie's mailbox this morning when suddenly the lights started blinking and I got these scratches in my hand out of nowhere. Oh, fuck it hurts. What's more likely? An evil mailbox attacked you or that you over medicated and did this to yourself. Look, I told you, nothing happened until I touched the newbie's mailbox. He's supernatural powers, everybody knows it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Look, I'm leaving. The ornithology workshop starts in three minutes. Oh, shit, is it that late? As you can see, not even the mailboxes are immune to Oliver's dark arts. So it seems. What happened then? And then I found poor Joe struggling with the invading roots from the big oak. So I helped him. Joe, huh? Ah, tell me what happened. God, this is horrible. Just horrible. Hey. Kid, come on, come and give Joe Joe a hand, will ya? Look at this mess! All the equipment smashed to pieces! The roots of that damn tree are growing at an unbelievable rate. I've never seen anything like it. Too many bizarre things are happening around here lately. What kind of things? Well, things. I smell something murky in the air since... Since the new boy came in, right? Did you notice it too? I have a nose for evil stuff and that kid... I'm sorry, I shouldn't be telling you any of this. I don't want to scare you. Come on. Got a lot of work here. Okay, put these roots in that wheelbarrow in the corner. Better bring the wheelbarrow here first. That would make more sense. The wheel axle is broken. You're a clever kid, you'll figure it out. Really? Okay, I need to have Joel put her... Yeah, I know! I... I'm on it. How do I fix the wheel bar? Cabinet. Ah, here we go. I can't unscrew it with my bare hands! He's a screwdriver. I might have. Do you have a screwdriver? I'm Joe, the maintenance wizard. Of course I have a screwdriver. Yeah. I'll use the screwdriver to remove it. Okay, screw it out. screw can act as the wheel's axle if it's perfectly. I can finally use the wheelbarrow. Good work, kid. I knew you'd make it. Great, now be a sweetie and throw the roots in the dumpster out in the garden, will ya? the wheelbarrow here. Joe, pick it up later. Oh, 
Let's go all the way to the end. Hello, Grace. None. Yeah. Right, two seconds. Just, ah, uh, need to take my meds. And it needs a drink, anyway. Ouchie. I would like to know what error I keep causing YouTube because it keeps telling me keyframe something. Yeah. That's the morphine. Now the pain pills. All eight of them. <laughs> Lovely. Mm -hmm. Hi Joe. Thanks again for the help, kid. Now move away. I'm going to leave this bastard doll skinned. Focus on what happened that evening. Ugh. That evening. Like, dinner started well, but as you know, it ended in tragedy. To all our dinner is. The camera's not working. Hot dogs, chicken legs, drumsticks, or pizza. I'm not a hot dog. Brooklyn style dog. Yum, 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 I better leave him alone. Wait, what? I thought you wanted to be left alone after what happened last time. You like hot dog, huh? Yeah, it's all yours. I'm not hungry. Walnuts. Uh, thanks. Hey, Oliver. I need to ask you something. The other night when we met in the showers, did you see or hear anything strange? I know it sounds crazy, but I saw something behind me. Like a shadow. I can't describe it, but it was very creepy. Did she. Did she hurt you? He's... Hey, wait! Goodbye, weirdo. Well, well, well. Looks like Mowgli likes you. Maybe because I'm the only one who pays him any attention. Too much attention, I see. I just want to help. 
Everyone here avoids him like the plague. Because he's fucking creepy. He walks around like a ghost, muttering things to his invisible friend. And to think I sleep in the next room gives me the chills. Greetings. How kind of the centre to set aside a table for oppressed minorities. Shouldn't you be selling drugs to little kids? And you, waving stupid coloured flags? What do you want, Aidan? I just came to warn you that poor Mrs Murphy's not looking too fresh. A little birdie told me the poor thing is battling for her life right now. Honk honk. What are you talking about? Did something happen to Mrs Murphy? How would I know? She's your responsibility, not mine. <laughs> Fuck, what the hell was that? No idea. I'll be go check on Miss Murphy. Bastards! <gasps> Miss Murphy! The hell? What the? F what they done here? God, they pushed a pen into her mouth. They suffocated her. God. Come on, little one, breathe. <laughs> Elijah, what the hell happened here? They killed her. It was Aiden. Ah, fuck. I had nothing to do with this. He killed her. Well, I'd never hurt Miss Murphy. My parents donated her to the centre. She was my family, you monster. Quiet, both of you. I've heard enough. Animal abuse is a very serious offence that won't go unpunished. And very seriously considering your immediate expulsion from the centre. You can't, you can't do that. This brat was the one responsible for the goose. Shut up. Aiden. That's bullshit. What are you accusing me of this? My father will get your ass fired. Get out of my sight, and you too. I've said all I've had to say. You fucking murderer. I'm gonna. Oh! This was just the beginning. You hear me? Get out of my way. You okay, mate? It hurts. That can't help. It hurts too much. Come on, I'll take you to your room. Looks like Eric is always by your side in rough times. Do you mind if I ask if it's more than just friendship? We're just friends. Are you a gossip journalist now? The only love Eric and I share is our love of video games and movies. That's all. Do you think Eric feels the same? Well, I hope so. I wouldn't want to hurt him. understand why Aiden is so obsessed with you. I mean, he's a dick to everyone, but killing Mrs. Mur Miss Murphy just to hurt you. Yeah, I'm his favourite target. The rumour that I like boys spread like wildfire ever since the moment I walked in. Aiden is not the only one who would like to see me dead for that, but he's the worst by far. I'm afraid one day he's going to hurt me real bad. Well, I won't let him. I swear, if he touches you again, I'll break every bone in his body and throw his corpse in the lake. Let Dolly me laugh, that my stomach hurts, man. Sorry. It's so unfair that we can't be open about our feelings. I mean, 
I just want you to know that you can talk to me if you need to. <laughs> Do you not know how to knock? Now isn't a good time. Elijah's sick. That's alright. Hey, Oliver. What's up? What do you want to give him this? Fine. Very kind of you. Now let him rest, okay? You'll see him tomorrow. Bye. What's that? A twig doll? This is very creepy. I'd throw it away if I was you. Look at it. It's like something out of one of your horror stories. Huh. It looked like a simple doll, but it was much more than that. When Aidan finally managed to murder Elijah, the twig doll turned into a giant beast hungry for revenge. It eviscerated Aidan and ate his rotten heart. The end. Lovely. Too bad the ga bad guys always win in real life. Come on, look, lay down. You should rest. What would you do without me? I thought I'd spend the night mourning Miss Murphy, but I was exhausted. I slept like a log. That was the fateful night, right? Yeah. The reason for all these therapy sessions and double medication. I knew something horrible had happened the moment I woke up. What's going on out there? Hey, what's going on? No idea. Looks like something's happened in the garden. I better go see. Yeah, I just wanted to see if I could get to his room first. Right, let's, go. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Downstairs, down to the lobby. Rest in peace, Miss Murphy. I miss you so much. What the hell? Let's get on here. Oh, fuck. God, that's Joe. Everyone, inside, immediately. Lock yourselves in your rooms and don't come out until further notice. I said everyone in, now. That's all. I just stayed in my bedroom until the police arrived that afternoon. You didn't talk to anyone else that morning? Nope. I better lock myself in my room. Now is not a good time. Well, now is the perfect time to grab snacks. Oliver! Do you know anything about what happened? Come on, I'm not stupid. I saw the tree roots grab your arm the same way they grabbed Joe. So many horrible things have happened since you arrived. You have to tell me what's going on. Hey! The hell? Is the tree trying to get to you? Oliver, please, say something. What happened to Joe?
you talking about? Are you sure you want to know? It's not pretty. Like, whatever it is, I can handle it. Just tell me. It all started ten years ago in the forest across the lake. It was autumn. Follow me. I was eight years old. My sister Tina had just turned ten. Her parents went on a work trip and left us with the babysitter. We convinced her to go play in the woods. But mother, the ruler of the forest, murdered her so she could kidnap us. The ruler of the forest? She's a powerful spirit that roams the woods and controls everything that grows here with the dark arts. For some reason, she thought we belonged to her. This was our home for ten years. So you never left the forest. You were only a few miles from home. or boil more water for you. That's Tina, my sister. Mm, it's very cold here. You're burning up. Like, this fever doesn't look good, Ollie. I have to take you to the hospital. Now. But we can't. She won't let us. Look, if we don't escape today, you'll die. No. If we try, Mother will kill us both. I know, but what else can we do? I can't let you die here. You need real medicine, not just roots and hot water. What, what, what are you going to do? Create a distraction. Get ready. Here. Take care of little Tina. I made her for you, she's your lucky charm. Please, keep it. If I don't make it, little Tina will always be by your side protecting me. I love you, Wally. No, Tina, she'll kill you. Is that the twig dog you gave me? Oh my god! She's the heart of the forest. I call her mother. Tina liked to call her nanny because she'd hum a lullaby for us every night that her first nanny used to sing. That's creepy. She also protected us from the cold and fed us small animals. She took care of us in some way. Sorry, I don't want to hurt you, but I can't let all of her down. You leave me no choice.
Hang on, Oliver. I'm going to get you out of here. No. Tina, no. 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 Run. Don't let her catch you. Oh my god. That was Mother's last desperate move. The fire weakened her enough that I could escape. But now she's coming back for me. Sharp. This is the place where they find you, isn't it? Yes. Why didn't you try to escape before from that thing? We did! Once. As punishment, she threw us in a dark hole and kept us there for weeks. Tina broke her leg in the fall. She spent days crying in pain. Damn. We learned not to disobey her. That sentence is too fucking real for me. Things got better from then on. She took care of us like a mother, more or less. How is it possible that no one found you in that cave? The forest kept us hidden. I'm so sorry, Oliver. I can't even imagine what you went through. Your sister wanted to protect you. It wasn't your fault that that thing killed her. I don't understand. Thank you for listening to my story. I know it's very hard to believe. Yeah, it's completely nuts. But with all the weird shit that's been happening, I'm I'm ready to believe anything that sounds like an explanation. Unfortunately, you can't tell anyone unless you want to end up under police suspicion. We need to keep it to ourselves. There's no other choice. So you just stayed in your bedroom, writing? Yep. And you didn't talk to anyone? Nope. Well then, I guess that brings us to the end of the story. Told you there wasn't much to tell. No, no, no. Thanks for telling me about your experience with Oliver. I feel like I know him a bit better now. Let me stress once again, I don't suspect him or any other patient. Let's just let the police do their job. Shall we continue our session tomorrow? I'll check my schedule. Again, I can't breathe. Okay, 
Calm down, Elijah. Breathe normal. They'll go away soon. Oh fuck, I see! Oh! Oh, the creepy shadow in the background! <laughs> I got scared by lightning. That's all. I'm watching you. The... Oliver? What's he doing now? It's pouring. I'm risking enough already. You'll get me into trouble. I'm just leaving. I won't have to worry about him anymore. Well, how the hell did Oliver manage to get out? The door the garden's locked in there. Dr. Green probably keeps a key in her office, so she should go and take a look. If someone catches me here, I'll get expelled for good. Hot and lusty club for singles. Dr. Green's life's much more interesting, right? I guess this solves the mystery of the red states and I'll stack. Can't blame her. Here it is. Garden door key. It's just the lightning. Mother, is that you? Damn, this is great for my anxiety problems. Damn it, Oliver. This is ridiculous. What are you doing? I know what you're going through, but this is going to end badly for the both of us. Oliver, what are you doing here? Come on, let's go back inside. I, th I think Mother may be dead. I no longer feel her presence. What? How is that possible? She barely had any strength left after the fire. I think the effort of killing Joe was too much for her. But that's a good thing, isn't it? You're safe from her at last. We all are. Yes. It's too bad Joe had to die, but I'm glad you can put that nightmare behind you. Come on, let's go back inside and we'll catch cold. Elijah, I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, poor Eric. Come on, lay down. You need to rest. Hey, 
Hello. What you and your sister went through is very fucked up. A true horror story. But you're alive and that horrible creature is gone for good. Now we just need to write a good sequel for you. <laughs> Jesus! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bitch! No, this is the third. No, I had the fourth one yet. You have awoken. Elijah loves Oliver. You did well telling us. On behalf of our cause, we thank you for your collaboration. You're a good soldier. Eric, you're a dumb fuck. All clear. <gasps> the fuck is this? Who wrote this shit? Ah, oh, I better get a sponge and clean it before anybody sees it. You've seen a few thumbnails on YouTube, people seem to love it. What, the fourth one? Third one? Fourth one? Because they're getting better and better, obviously. I'm still not exactly confident with the voice talking thing. This one. I'm enjoying this. Here we go, Elijah. Shower time. Come on, don't panic. Mother's dead, which means no more creepy creatures in the mirror. And it's still not working. Oh, I don't like these doors are closed. I don't need to pee right now, but I bet you there's somebody hiding in them fucking rooms. Nothing in the mirror. I won't look in this mirror ever again. I am not... Okay. What is this chair doing here? I am... I'm getting uncomfies. Oh, fuck off. Hello, sugar. Thanks for joining the party. Eden. Eric, the hell is this? We've organised a therapy session for you. We're going to be your psychiatrists tonight. I... Shall we begin then? Sit down, please. I said... Sit down. Eric, go get help. Please. Please go get help. I... Please, guys. I think he gets the message. Leave him alone. Shut up, lad boy. Sit in this chair right now, or I swear I'll gouge your eyes out. Please. Aiden. No. That's read the wrong bit, sorry. <laughs> it's all caps, I got confused. I knew from the day I saw your face that you'd end up turning this place into your own private harem. So many victims for you to choose from. 
so many vulnerable kids to spread your sickness to. I don't know what you're talking about, please. This guy here told me you banged the weirdo last night. Is he lying? Maybe we should cut off his tongue. I just said I saw them walking into his bedroom holding hands. And that they spent the night together. That's incriminating enough, don't you think? You sickos keep forcing your aberrant ways in our schools and institutions, declaring war on this country's values. Fucking hell. But we aren't going to make it easy for you. We are soldiers, willing to get our hands dirty. And we'll win in the end. Tiny battle by tiny battle. You're fucking crazy. Do you know what this is? You can call it Doctor. A few sparks. And it'll cure your queerness instantly. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna sting quite a bit. You're gonna pay for this. Oh, don't be like that. We're doing this for your own good. You'll thank us later. I'm sorry, Elijah. I didn't know they would do any of this. Ready? Tina, what's wrong? No. Oh. I hoped he'd last a little longer. I used the lowest setting, I think. Oh shit, oh shit! You killed him, murderers. Stop crying, idiot. That thing can't kill you. You'll be fine. Well, well, well. Look who's joining the party. What did you do to him? Oh, don't worry. We're just having some fun. You don't understand. You, you shouldn't have done this. She's here. A month later. I'd like to thank you, on behalf of the Fernwood Creek Centre, for the trust you place in our professionals. Given last month's horrible events, most of our patients left us. Who can blame them? Oliver insisted on staying, right honey? Every day I pray for those poor kids who were attacked in the bathroom. Aidan and Theo, right? What kind of monster could do something like that to two innocent kids? Will they be okay? Well... We are working day and night to catch the intruder who committed these horrific crimes. But today I'm here because of Tina. We still need to find her. Oliver, are you ready to come and meet at the police station and give us more details about what happened in the forest? I guess. Goodbye, Oliver, and best of luck. Please, don't be a stranger. We'll miss you.
Hey, Buzzy. Welcome to the new world. No! Thanks for coming. This is Grace. She was one of our neighbours at Watson. You probably heard her singing through the garden pipe. Nice to finally meet you, Oliver. Elijah talks a lot about you. He says you're a great source of inspiration for his horror stories. I guess I am. I hope your new life is full of joy and promise. You don't deserve any less. Anyway, I'll leave you two to catch up. What's the police doing here? You just want to ask me about Tina. I'll be fine. They believe that Aiden and Theo's attack was the work of a random intruder. I can still hear their screams in my nightmares. It was horrible. Yeah. I genuinely fucking teared up seeing Elijah was still alive! Oh. I hoped he'd last a little longer. Oh shit! Oh shit! I genuinely fucking teared up! You killed him, you murderers. Oh, stop crying, idiot. This thing can't help kill you. You'll be fine. Well, well, well. Luke is joining the party. What did you do? Oh, don't worry. We're just having some fun. You don't understand. You shouldn't have done this. She's here. What the fuck are you talking about, you know? Mother has arrived! The hell? No! Please! Holy fuck! Natina, no, stop! Don't kill him, please! Come on, leave him! If you kill him, it'll ruin everything. I'll have to go back to the woods and hide. Are you okay? Can you talk? Shadow. I've seen it. It wasn't my imagination. I don't get it. That creature is Tina? What's left of her? She tries to protect me and the people that matter to me. I'll tell you more later. We need to go now. Oh my god. Are they dead? I'm not sure. <laughs> also, before I go on, is that not fire a girl in the fireplace music? Please, don't hurt me. You tricked me. I didn't want to hurt you. Oh, shut up. Go back to your room. If you say a word about what you saw here, no, I won't. I won't say anything, I promise. Good. I've never seen so much blood in my life. They shouldn't have hurt you. They made Tina angry. still around? Yes. I can still recognise my sister's stubbornness in that creature. They still have Tina's twig though. Keep it. It may bring you some good luck. I'm so glad to see you again. I miss you. Me too. May I ask you something? That girl, Grace. Is she your... I mean, she and you... 
Oh! No, no, no way, no way, no, 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 she's just a friend. That's all. I'm dealing. Okay. Hey, kid, are you coming? Here's my number. Call me sometime, okay? I will. We have to write the sequel for my life story, remember? I want a perfect gender. See you soon, Oliver. I'm genuinely fucking tearing up at that. Ah, no. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I was smiling my face so big. <laughs> I'm, fuck. I'm supposed to be a hard ass bitch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> fuck it. Ah, I'm the sentimental bitch. <laughs> ah, I don't fucking cry. What are you doing? What are you proving? Can't see a thing. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> yes! I fucking brilliant. Love it. Oh, God. <laughs> Seriously, I'm fucking crying like a doofus. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby tear! No, no, that's too cute. It's too cute. <laughs> oh, I had a baby tear. Fuck it, stupid game. Uh, and that was from the bits. <laughs> Ah, oh, god damn it. Ah. <sighs> now, question. Do I continue with the fourth one or do I leave that for another stream? Because the next stream's a bit too... The uh, next one's about an hour. Maybe an hour and a half, maybe two. And that could be a whole stream on its own, that, that, that fourth one. But I am happy to go on. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe I should leave it. See, go for it. Mm. Actually, I, I don't know. Hang on. Uh, do you know what? I could take a wee break and do it later. Would you be up for that? I could be up for that later. I need a break because my throat could do a wee rest. Getting consistent, hi Anubis. This is my third stream in 24 hours. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man, you just missed me crying at the end of a fucking game. Ah. Uh. How's you, Anubis? Mm. Yes, yes. I'll take. I'll take a break. Uh, I'll do it. Phil does. I'll split the part. <laughs> I'd split the part here. Yeah. Then don't forget to like and subscribe. I really need your support and your buy-in, guys. <laughs> the channel has <laughs> saved the best. Oh, fucking hell. Ah. Uh, you just woke up. 
uh, it's 6 p.m. here. I've been streaming for what, two and a half hours and I've completed three episodes of Midnight Scenes. We have one left to do. Do what Phil does, that little son of a bitch. Fuck, if I did what Phil did, I'd kill myself. Not even a Minecraft, just generally. Mm. Okay, I'll be back with the finale of Midnight Scenes, because we've already done the fifth part later on. But until then, please take care of yourselves. And remember, stay away from dodgy trees. <laughs> you just sneak your lives. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, fuck it. I need to leave, but I'll never leave now. Take care.